graphic extras. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use images, two images, in fact, of course, could be multiple images, but I'm just going to go for two because it's a bit quicker, and just use them to combine with the Merge to HDR Pro. And in this one, I'm using text. So I've actually got some, just quickly show you the images. There's a various thing, just text on there. So I'm combining, and also I've got gradients as well, just so it's a bit more colorful. Right, just gonna go to File, Automate, and Merge to HDR Pro. That's the key thing. Now, I'm gonna use the Add Open Files. I've got two files that obviously open. They need to be saved, so you can't just use files that are not saved. So Now, the key thing here is to turn this off attempt to sometimes it works sometimes it will come up and say i can't do it it, it can't render so uh, i'm not certain why it says render but anyway that's what it says so click ok and it will now try and merge these two you'll notice over there in the history it's doing various things so once it's come up it comes up with a manually set ev setting now i don't want to actually do anything else so i'm not going to change those just click through these just quickly run through those otherwise it doesn't come up with this okay you might not want to do any changes but you still have to go through that procedure just click in through these images click okay now it actually goes into well by default it goes into 16-bit mode but I've actually previously worked with the 32-bit and I've got it actually set to 32-bit mode of course you can set it back to 16 if you wish or 8 bit. I've got it in good old 32 bit, which is great for setting with gradients. It's the best way of working with gradients 32 bit. So now, there's actually the reason for 32 bit is also you can actually use the camera raw tool, and that's the next stage. It comes through, it's a, it's a couple of steps in this tone in ACR. So just click that. Now it comes up with the good old. And it will take a few seconds to quickly process it. You can see it whirring around. Right, comes up with this lovely camera raw filter. This is, of course, the same one in the filter menu over here. And you will see this. Now, as I've got gradients and I've got text, I can also go over here and actually select this one, graduated filter, which is really good. So you can add gradients, basically, to gradients within this filter so you can just drag this across you can see the gradient there and of course you can tweak it over this place you can tweak all the exposure so i could just modify that the exposure there Make it right was contrast i'm just going to change that back there saturation i can make it more saturated in that area change the fringe to fringe it Right, do that. I can also add another gradient. I'm just going to add another one. And you've got the original one, that one I've just created just there. So I've just got another one. I can modify that now. I'm just going to change the color. Maybe go for green. You can change the exposure for that area. Saturation modify that and you can obviously play around with this for ages until you're happy with the image so you can just tweak add gradients on gradients so you can just add another one and so on and so on of course you can also delete it as well if you don't like the actual end result so click OK now I could have actually done far more in the camera raw filter than just that graduated there's a whole loads of other features but I've got a few minutes obviously for the video otherwise it go on for ages so that's a quick way of blending and combining text as well as gradients and color. So it's a really useful tool. And of course, once you've actually done this, now you can still go back into the camera raw filter afterwards. You don't have to stop there. So if you want to, you can quickly go back and modify it using the various settings here, like the temperature, tint, go back the other way, exposure, Oh, more that way. Go to as well as add grains, vignettes, darken it there. Click OK.